Lee, a popular swimming and fishing hole is now closed after numerous complaints. We're taking it with to Fox 24's Lauren Craycall, who was in Alma, to show us how some people had an emotional tie to that low water bridge. Like a little local beach. Yeah. A Crawford County beach, commonly known as the train bridge, is no longer in service. Following the owner's decision to make the property private after numerous complaints of trash and other things. I understand why the owner doesn't want anybody down there. We see it as this this sacred place, and then we go down there, and there's broken beer bottles, there's clothing, there's trash. A sacred place where a life was taken too soon. A life full of love and compassion. He just had this smile, mm -hmm. and it was so sweet. Four years ago, Skylar Combs was found dead after he had been swept away in flood waters under the bridge on State Highway 282 in Alma. My son had gone in the water. He was 19. Skylar's mother, Renee Combs, says her son was an athlete and befriended everyone he met. That place means more than just a swimming hope for us because that's the last place that he was at. For Alma resident Kimberly Whitlock to her, this place also means more than just a swimming hole. Whitlock lost her brother Scott on Christmas Eve in 2015. Last year, she spread her brother's ashes at the Low Water Bridge. She says it saddens her to know that she will no longer be able to visit the spot where the ashes are. But like Combs, she understands why the landowner decided to close it. I totally understand and everything because all it takes is just one to mess mm -hmm. it up for everybody else. Messing up a place Combs and close family and friends like Kendra Landfair hold close. That place has become like a sacred, peaceful place, mm -hmm. you know, to just... It's overwhelming to go to the his graveside. So for me to be able to go down to the creek, that's my that's the that's connection. where yeah that's where my connection is. In Alma, Lauren Craycall, Fox 24 News.